The Runnin' Rebels, Stuyvesant's boys varsity basketball team, played the rival Blue Demons of the Beacon School on Friday, January 23rd, in the third floor gym. After a mostly back and forth first half, which ended with the Rebels down 22-20, fans were treated to a halftime show by the cheerleading squad. But the cheerleaders weren't the only fans helping the Rebels out. Members of Wupeg Sui went far beyond the usual leading of chants to support the Rebels. This time, they flat out harassed Beacon players. We did what we had to. They found out the names of their opponent's girlfriends and chanted them as a distraction. Beacon opened the third quarter with a 7-0 run to put them ahead 29-20. They were very effective on defense, more or less achieving in their goal of shutting down Stuyvesant's two leading scorers, seniors Alan C. and Nolan Becker. But the Rebels continued to put up a fight after coach Phil Fisher, looking to rejuvenate his team, brought junior Jack Margolis in from off the bench. Margolis' six points provided the Rebels with a much-needed boost on offense. Adjustment because my kids were too tired at the end of games because I haven't been making enough substitutions. Today when the offense went bad, I went deep into the bench and pulled out Jack. Right? Jack gave us a little lift on offense. Okay. But the Rebels still found themselves down by three with less than a minute remaining until Becker got the ball, sank a jumper to bring the team to within one, and got fouled on the play, earning a potentially game-tying free throw. Not only did Becker tie the game, but after the Rebels regained the ball, he won it. The Rebels improved to 10-4 after this 38-36 victory. This is Luke Cohen from The Spectator.